hi everyone let's look at the two ways this equation can be solved okay we have um, square root of x square root of x square root of x equals 2 okay let's use the first method to use the first method we have square root of x square root of x square root of x this will be squared and on the other hand we have to squared now the square will pick this away and pick that away so that we have x now then we have root x root x and it's equal to 2 to the power of 2 let me leave it you know in this form let's continue to leave it in this exponential form okay now we still have more brackets i mean more square roots so i have to square this again then this the whole of this will be squared now x to the power of 2 will come x squared then we have um this can now go with this so we multiply this by x root x then on the other hand we have 2 to the power of 4 because we have to multiply 2 and 2 right now we still have more square square root so we are going to square the whole of this again and then the whole of this squared we can even simplify what we have in here x times x squared times x will give us x to the power of 3 then root x remember this is square on it right and on the other hand, we have 2 to the power of 4, and it is square on that. Now, x to the power of 3 squared, the powers always multiply. So we have x to the power of 6. Do not add both of them since it's multiplication. Then this can go with this. So we have x. Then we have 2 to the power of 8 on the other hand. Since it's 2 times 4 or 4 times 2. Now, we are multiplying this, this and this, right? Now, we believe that this is to the power of 1. So it's going to be x to the power of 6 plus 1 to be equal to 2 to the power of 8. And now we're having x to the power of 7 equals 2 to the power of 8. And you know what we are going to do, how to remove, how to remove this power from here. So we are going to do that by multiplying or by raising this again to the reciprocal of the power. And that is going to be 1 over 7. And then here we have 2 to the power of 8. Now what do we do? This and this will go. So that x will now be free and it will be equal to okay this one over seven that we introduced must reflect on the right one over seven so we will now have two to the power of eight multiplied by one over seven that will give us some eight over seven so the value of x down is 2 to the power of 8 over 7. This is obtained using the first method. So let's go straight to the second method. If you do not understand this method, just sit back and get the second method because I believe it will be easier. Okay, so let's start with the second method. And by the way, do you know that square root of a is the same thing as a to the power of 1 over 2 right and in the same way square root of the square root of a is the same thing as a to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 because it is under two square root signs so this is what we do right so let's continue from here Okay, so the first x now is under one square root sign. So we have x to the power of half. Then 
multiply by the second x is under 2 x to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 then multiply by the third under 3 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 and this is equal to 2 now to continue we are going to have x to the power of 1 over 2 multiply by x to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 is 1 over 4 then times x to the power of 1 over 8 this is equal to 2 1 times 1 times 1 is 1 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 now to continue we have the same base and we are multiplying them so we can pick one of the bases then add the powers 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 this is equal to 2 right what again should I do let's add the powers x is still there the LCM of the power if you like you can close this up the LCM of the power is 8 then we have 8 divided by 2 is, is, is 4. 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Then plus 8 divided by 8 is 1 times 1 is 1. And this is equal to 2. Mind you, the whole of this is the power. Right? The whole of that is the power. So that we have x now. 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7 over 8. Right? And this is equal to 2. And like you know, we are looking for the value of x. So we have to do away with this power. And to do that, 7 over 8. To do that, we'll have to raise the whole of this to the reciprocal of the power. And the reciprocal of 7 over 8 is 8 over 7. Now, on the other hand, we have 2. And this that we just introduced, 8 over 7, must reflect here. 8 over 7. So, 8 will go into 8. We have 1. 7 into 7, we have 1. So, at the end of the day, we have x to the power of 1. And it's the same thing as x. So this will now be equal to 2 to the power of 8 over 7. And if you recall what we got from the first method, we got the same 8, we got the same 2 to the power of 8 over 7. Thank you for watching. If you were to solve this, which of the methods would you have used, the first or the second?